folks if you want a deep and a greater understanding of bucket shot or radic shot a step wise program wise understanding of radic shot this video is not for you this video is for those people who study at the last moment before exam and who want just just pass or top i don't know but just want to pass the, ex the engineering exams or whatever your any exams so if you are seeking the basic and deep understanding of bucket shot program wise algorithm wise this is not for you this is just a uh, this, this is like a mathematical solution of bucket shot or radit shot to be frank so let's just begin uh so bucket shot and radic shot are same basically so because bucket shot and radic shot are like sister algorithms they aren't comparison sorts they they don't compare each and every element with you know, one another and decide uh, uh, and put it in ascending or descending order so but the general idea is similar so radix means base that means binary octal decimal etc the time complexity of these uh, bucket or or radix sort is as o in bracket n so yes and this is a is very important question and it comes in uh, university exams for 6 marks 6 4 to 6 marks so let's just begin so today we are going to learn the bucket shot or radix shot and this is step 1 so consider the uh, know the basic rule that always consider 0 to 9 buckets so here we can see that there are 0 to 9 buckets and these are the given list of numbers we uh, which we have to sort sort the following numbers in ascending order using bucket sort so step 1 is unit place this is step 1 and what we do in this step is that we consider individual elements and we check what is their unique position in 25 units place is 5 so the 25 will go in the fifth bucket now next number is 91 and 91 has 1 in its unique place so 91 will go in bucket of 1 62 has unique place 2 so 62 will go in bucket number 2 like this consider 132 and 132 has unit place 2 so 132 will go in bucket number 2 like this we have to sort each and every element of these list of numbers to sort them using bucket sort or radic sort now uh, let's sort all the other remaining these are the Uh, completed our step one, and now we have to go. We have to sort them. We have to uh, rearrange them. So for rearranging them, we have to write them in down. We have to go down to up. We always we have to go down to up. That means go from hundred, ninety, ninety-one, sixty-one, and uh, uh, so on, and sixty-two. So from going down to up, we write hundred, ninety, ninety-one. Ninety-one, sixty-one, fifty-six, eighteen, and sixty-eight, nine, six thirty-nine, thirty-nine. So we have completed our step one, uh, and let's proceed to the. Without wasting time, let's go to step two. So uh, step two is similar to step one, with just. one change so these are the elements which were sorted after step 1 after with the help of step 1 now let's uh, sort the elements with step number 2 so step number 2 is 10th place so by now it's pretty obvious to you that in this consider number 100 and in 100 uh the 10th place is 0 so 100 with go in uh, the bucket number 0 is that easy in 90 the 10th place is uh 9 so 90 we go in 9 bucket in 
10th place is also 9, so 9 will go in 9th bucket. 91 will go in 9th bucket. In 61, 10th place is 6. So 6 will go in the bucket of 6. In the number 981, 10th place is 8. So it will go in bucket number 8. Similarly, we have to sort each and every element of from this list and put them into their respective buckets. And now we have to again go from down to up while sorting them in a list format. So let's go from down to up again. So first will come for 100, then 11, 711 and then so on. And this is how you solve by step 2. Now let's go to step number 3. So these are the elements which were sorted after step 2. We should obtain by solving step 2. So um, step 3 is the last and final step and it's called the 100th place. Now it's pretty obvious that in this step we have to check the 100th place and put it in, and put it in bucket, respect to buckets. So let's just check out. So in 100, 100th place is 1. So 100 will go in the bucket number 1. In 11, you will observe that there is no 100th place. So let's check out the note. The note says elements with no 100th place will go in bucket number 0. That means element which doesn't have any 100th place go in bucket number 0. So 11 which doesn't have any 100th place will go in bucket number 0. 711 has 100th place 7 so it will go in the bucket number 7. Number 18 has no 100th place so it will go in the bucket number 0. Similarly we have to sort each and every uh, element or number from this list into their respective buckets. this is our final result now similarly we have to go from down to up while sorting them in list format this is final step so now carefully observe 11 18 25 and so on now you will observe that each and every element is sorted so these this is our final sorted list this is our un answer and you can see how magically all these numbers are sorted automatically by these three steps. So yeah, that's how you...